2002 was a breakout year for Kurt Busch and his Roush Racing Team. That it was. With three wins and ten top ten finishes, he showed that he's one of the rising stars in NASCAR. Already. Already. Emirate has to lie. They just have to lie. Kurt had four wins in 2002, not three. So, yeah, that, I already ranted about that in one live stream many years ago. Or many year, year, I guess year ago, but years ago. Ow. That people still want it. Defend! Oh, that's a wreck. Mark Martin, that's my teammate. And Brett Bodine's pissed. And now I got hood damage. The 97 car didn't do anything to improve his standing with the other drivers out there. Should be interesting next wow. time get next to each other on the racetrack. At this point, nobody wants to back down, and we could see some sparks fly. Wow, they're going to really throw that at me. I can't help but that Brett Bodine stopped. I can't control that and, and you know, and got in the wreck. That's, that's not something I intentionally wanted to do, game. 2002 was a breakout year for Kurt Busch and his Roush Racing Team. That it was. With three wins and ten top ten finishes, he showed that he's one Why? of the rising stars. Why? Why do they keep talking about it? He does not have three wins, game. How many times are we going to have to freaking gaslight this narrative? No, you're not going to gaslight me into thinking that's true. That is wrong. That, that's twice now. Is that the... I guess that's the, the new recurring gag. The, uh-oh, SpaghettiO. They don't know any stat information. I'm pissed. Kyle Petty had a very rough season in 2002. Boy, did he ever. With no top 10 finishes and an average finish of 27th, you know it's a year he'd like to forget. I got a rant. I got a rant. Kyle Petty did not have zero top 10s in 2002. That is wrong. We're going to bring that up to prove it. See? He got one top 10. Give give Kyle Petty at least a little bit of slack. Yeah, he didn't have a great season, but... 22nd is literally his highest finishing points position in 2002 since 1997. That is, I would dare I say, a step up. So, uh, yeah, I guess you could say it's not a great season, but that, that's his best season since 97. So I feel like they're giving him too much sleight of hand with those jabs, and that personally upsets me. You at least get the stats right, for God's sakes. 2002 was a breakout year for Kurt Busch and his Roush Racing Team. That it was with three wins and ten top ten. No, he no, he had four game. He had four. That's that's what the third time now this season they freaking did that. What is with the Rugrats freaking national anthem? I always thought that when I was little. Everyone just came up, but it always reminded me of like like Rugrats music. I don't know. I'm a, I'm already upset. Bad vibes. Bad vibes already from this race. Kurt Busch will start the race looking for his third consecutive win. I spoke with one of the tire changers on that team this morning. He was standing in victory lane when I saw him, and he assured me they'd be there at the end of this race. Well, we'll soon see if that's the case, but with the streak they've been on, I wouldn't put it past them. A little bit of a problem with the commentary there. I have not won three in a row. I have won nine in a row. Maybe the game just... They just never thought someone would, you know, be this amazing at the game, but... I hope one day in a NASCAR game they can have commentary booths be like have like unique dialogue where they can mention how this driver's been like undefeated this whole season, talk about how insane that is, and only yeah, only an F1 could be that be like possibly comparable or comparable. I don't know. 2002 was a breakout year for Kurt Busch and his Roush racing team. That it was with three wins and ten Stop. Top ten finishes. Stop. Literally. I don't know how many times they have to keep bringing it up. Kurt has four wins in 2002. They just ignore Johnny Benson. That's horrible. How dare they? Kurt Busch always seems to be near the front at the finish. Oh, yeah. To have an average finish in the top ten for the season is mighty impressive. It can often be the difference that wins championships. Well, I don't think EA ever foresaw someone having an average finish of first or a top five because they really undersold the fact that I'm just that good. David Green finds himself in a bit of a slump. Oh, he definitely wants to turn things around starting now. His whole crew seems determined to pull out of this slump. I wouldn't be surprised if they pull off at least a top 15. Great introduction. I don't have any qualms with it other than the fact they're thinking David Green's getting a top 15. I don't personally agree. Michael Waltrip alternate scheme, cool. Matt Kenseth alternate scheme, ooh. Ryan Newman alternate scheme as well. It's 2002 was a breakout year for Kurt Busch and his Roush Racing Team. That it was with three wins and ten top ten Stop. finishes. He showed that Stop. He's the Not only did you lie about Kyle Petty's stats, you lied about that too. And we get the Rugrats freaking theme again. Why? I don't know how many times they're going to repeat that audio clip. How was that not fixed? From Thunder 03. 
and why is it so hard to get facts correct? I, I know like 2002 is like the early age of the internet and you know maybe information was hard but I feel like that stat should not be that complicated. We've gotten Jack Sprague out of my just own vitriolic rage of that stat being wrong. So I'm going to blame that on, on MRN even though they had no part of that. 2002 was a breakout year for Kurt Busch and his Roush racing team. That it was, with three wins and ten top ten finishes. Stop. Really no. 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 We're done. Oscar. We're done. We're done with this intro. Fuck you, game. No, we're not doing this. I, I, we have went through this tangent like eight different times. I'm, I'm done. Kurt Busch is our NASCAR Winston Cup points leader coming into this race. What a great feeling that must be to have the points lead. Although you also have to think about the guys closing in behind you. One bad day at the track and you got to start climbing the ladder all over again. Good introduction. I don't really think I have any real problems with it. I do think the announcers are kind of trying to oversell my point lead or undersell it because I can literally finish last and we still got the point lead so nothing really changes. But hey, you know what? They're trying to promote the race. They're trying to hype it up. I respect the grind or the grift, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word. 2002 was a breakout year for Kurt Busch and his Roush Racing Team. That it was. With three wins and ten top ten finishes, he showed that he's one of the rising stars in NASCAR. Did they freaking say Kurt Busch had three wins last year? I know he mentioned they mentioned a lot of top tens. I, I don't know. I zoned out for that. I should have been more laser focused. But I just, I spaced out. So let's just get into it. Have Emron and friends take it from here just to see what they have to say and see. Because that last part, I, I was looking at my re re recording. I had a stroke just saying that. But in my recording, I saw, they mentioned Kurt's number. But it's like, that, that's like the sixth time or fifth time this year. They've said the wrong amount of wins. It's getting annoying. So let's see if it could happen again so I can get pissed again. Kurt Busch has a lot of momentum coming into this race with back-to-back -back wins. His team is real excited about their success so far. In fact, I believe they'll have another top five race as long as he keeps the car out of trouble. I would say that would be a great intro, but they messed up because we have not won back-to-back. -back. If this was played at like Vegas where I did win back-to-back, -back, then it would make sense, but not in this context because we only won one race until now, like in terms of our streak, so... Yeah, it's not back-to-back. -back. How about the consistency shown by Kurt Busch? Oh, yeah, to have an average finish in the top 10 for the season is mighty impressive. It can often be the difference that wins the championship. Good introduction. Nice Tony Stewart alternate scheme there as well. I think MRN really just, I don't know, I guess thinks the player just won't be good because I said this before, but they, they really, they're saying I'm like top 10 average finish. No, my average finish is like 1.5 game. They really didn't think the common folk players were good or something. I don't know. Just, it's funny. 2002 was a breakout year for Kurt Busch and his Roush Racing Team. That it was with three wins. And no, top no, top stop. Finishes. No, we're done. We're done with this intro. In we're done with this intro. No, no, no. We're just, no, just absolutely no. I, I'm not going to sit there and, and have them get my curdy dirty stats wrong. Also, we got controller working again, so that, the input thing, so that's good. But We're in for some great racing here at Lowe's. 2002 was a breakout year for Kurt Busch and his Roush racing team. That it was, with three wins. No, no, we're done. Intro's done. We're cutting it early. If they're going to freaking keep making lies, then I'm going to cut their freaking introduction short. Fudge you. 2002 was a breakout year for Kurt Busch and his Roush Racing Team. That it was, with three wins and ten top ten nope. finishes. Nope, 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 nope. How many times have they done that this year? Where they completely botch Kurt Busch's stats at Martinsville. Or not in Martinsville, because in Martinsville he really only got one win and like did nothing for like a decade. But that's beside the point. I'm, how, it's like, how, I don't know, I wish there was a counter for just that alone. Because I feel like they've done it like at least five or more times. Obnoxious. I was about to say they were doing really good. They're going on a tangent about underrated drivers and how they have untapped potential. Because I do think Mayfield and Maydu do have untapped potential. And they just threw all that goodwill out the window to talk about my stats, which are wrong. Again. And I will not continue to be salty about it because it's stupid. 2002 was a breakout year for Kurt Busch and his Roush Racing Team. That it was, with three wins and ten top ten finishes. No. He that he's no. 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 We're done. 
I'm- how many times are they gonna continue to fabricate lies? No. We're done. We're racing. Ward Burton got himself and car owner Bill Davis their first career victories here at The Rock in the fall of 95. You know, Ward didn't start out with Bill Davis racing in 1995. He switched teams with nine races left in the season, had one heck of a finish with that win and two other top five finishes. Good introduction. I gotta fact check the Ward Burton thing because I have to second guess everything they do anymore. But I'm assuming they're going to be right because they're more factually accurate on stats from years and years ago than stuff from like the previous year, which makes it makes even less sense. But that's double double, I want to double check it. Well, they are right. Uh, Ward Burn did get his win late in the year, 95. Fitting. He did switch. Uh, I'm assuming they're also right in the fact they switched teams late in the year. He was with uh, Alan Dillard Jr. And then he went to Bill Davis. Is this technically nine races? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay. Golf clap. Golf clap to them. They got it right. What about two? They said two top five finishes. They're right. Darlington and Atlanta. Why are they more statistically accurate for 1995 stats than the years from the previous season? That makes no sad. Even more perplexed. How do they get stuff that, that happened literally the last year wrong so much? I don't know, but bravo to them. I, I, I'm, I'm impressed.